Visually check the valve stem. Check the valve seat and the valve face for carbon deposits. Check the valve face for any pitting. Repair or replace if any pitting is found. Check the valve stem end for mushroom shape or diameter larger than the body of stem. Replace the valve if any of the above is found. The specified limit should be 4.975 mm to 4.990 mm and the service limit should be 4.950 mm. If the valve stem diameter is found below this, replace the valve. Remember, before removing the valves, make sure the valves are properly sealed. In order to check the valve sealing, pour a clean solvent into the intake and exhaust ports and check. There should not be any leakage from the valve seat. If any leakage is observed, carry out valve seat lapping. Assemble both the valve spring and the valve into the cylinder head and then check for leakage of the valve seat. Now measure the valve seat width. To measure the valve seat width, apply red oxide on the valve face. Install the valve into the cylinder head and press the valve through the valve guide and onto the valve seat. Rotate the valve to make a clear impression. Now, with a vernier caliper, measure the valve seat width, where the valve seat and the valve face contacted one another, the impression will have been removed. If it is out of specification, carry out valve lapping. In order to do that, apply a coarse lapping compound to the valve face. Remember, do not let the lapping compound enter the gap between the valve stem and the valve guide. Then, apply a thin coat of engine oil onto the valve stem. Now, install the valve into the cylinder head and fix the vacuum lapping stick on the valve face. Turn the valve until the valve face and the valve seat are evenly polished. Remember, Lightly tap the valve seat while rotating the valve in clockwise and anti-clockwise direction between your hands. Also ensure that grinding is done while rotating the valve in anti-clockwise direction and there is no contact while rotating it in the clockwise direction. Clean off all of the lapping compound from the valve face Apply a fine lapping compound to the valve face and repeat lapping steps again. After lapping procedure, be sure to clean off all of the lapping compound from the valve face and the valve seat. Now, apply red oxide onto the valve face again and measure the valve seat width again. If the valve seat width is out of specification, lap the valve seat again. 